Welcome back to Conference USA 2017 kickoff presented by Under Armour. We continue our coverage. One of the, another first-year head coaches in Conference USA is joining us right now from FAU, Lane Kiffin. Lane, welcome to the conference, my friend. Thank you. Glad to be here. And we're joined by a couple of players. First of all, offensive lineman Antonio Woods. Good to have you here. Glad you finally made it up here, by the way. <laughs> Thank we, you. We, we were worried that you weren't going to show up. And linebacker Aziz al Shair. Good Thank to you have you with us. I think the first question, Lane, and, and you and I met when you were at, at SC, what attracted you to come to the school and coach again? Leadership. Um, in the interview process, uh, our president, Dr. Kelly, was not just in the interview, which is abnormal to be in the first mm -hmm. interview for head coaches, um, but he, he, was, he had a plan. He'd been at Clemson. He'd seen the Dabo effect and, and winning there and what it did for the university and out-of-state enrollment and everything. And so to hear that he had a plan of a championship program mm -hmm. um, was, was really big because you need your president and you need leadership behind you to do the things um, to give us the funds to hire the great staff that we were able to, to, um, to hire a president that um, helps us actively in recruiting, you know, when players come on campus. So that, that was a big part of it. And then I would say probably second location. Mm -hmm. You know, if you study the Florida schools, everybody's kind of made a run, whether it's USF, UCF, um, because of the great players and great high school coaches in Florida. So that was a big part of it too. How much have you learned in your coaching experience? And there's been ups and downs, and we're not going to dodge that, but how have you changed in your approach to coaching, if you have changed it as far as your approach to coaching? I definitely have changed. Um, uh, be na naive not to, um, to be able to spend three years with one of the best coaches in the history of college football okay. um, and to learn from him and to take different things from him and add to what you had from before with Pete Carroll and then add to, to also, you know, in between that, you know, the mistakes that you made and the things that you did and, and learn from those. Um, you're in a much better place today than you were, you know, 10 years ago. One of the things when I, when I did your game last year, what stood out to me is how young this team was. In 2016, freshmen and sophomores, they accounted for 100% of the passing yards, 63% of the rushing yards, 66% of the tackles. A very young team. A lot of people say that's a bad thing. For you coming in, that's a good thing, I would think, because they don't maybe have some bad habits, and you can start building them from the ground up. Well, it's a good thing um, because of the youth um, and things you referred to. Um, but the last staff, there's no bad habits. The last staff did a really good job um, with these guys. And, um, you know, we, we have a great core of guys. Um, we've added a lot of guys already, and some more guys are going to come in to start camp. And so um, it'll be up to, to our leadership and our older players like these guys, you know, to bring these guys in and mentor these guys um, so that we can we can gel as a team and improve. Let's talk about the offense because last year this offensive line was decimate, decimated, but you still look at the fact that Singletary and Howe, they rushed for over 1,800 yards combined. Number one, is everybody healthy coming into this season? Uh, almost there. Um, you know, I think by the time we get to the opener, we will be. Um, and so it, they did have a lot of injuries up there last year. Um, and so um, there is a great core of skilled players coming back. And our offensive line needs to gel as we get guys back from injuries. A lot of guys miss spring. So that'll be a, a big part of, and a big theme of our camp is those guys coming together. Now the big question, I think, is at the quarterback spot because from what I read, there was quite a battle during spring. Did anybody break out of the pack during spring to be the number one guy at quarterback? They did not, um, and that, that's a good thing. Um, it's not that they didn't play well. It's that a bunch of guys played well. So it'll be exciting um, to see that competition. And, um, you know, it's going to be a great camp. And uh, those guys had a really good spring. You've been around some great quarterbacks, obviously, especially when you go back to SC. Phenomenal quarterbacks. Do you relay those experiences to you? Here's what Matt Leinart did, or here's what so and so did. Do you talk to him about that? Eventually, um, I think you do that more. Um, you know, once you have your starter and okay. you start to see how that guy learns, plays, develops, and then you, you then you go back to those things. Devin Singletary, watching him last season, I think he has a chance to be a very special player. Do you agree? I totally agree. Um, he had a great spring, special player. Rarely does the first guy ever tackle him, and a great kid, too. How about Buddy Howell? Um, different style runner, which is good. Um, you know, as you mentioned, USC days going. I think we may have lost your headset. We're just going to keep going. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the players and we get your headset working again. Let's go to Antonio Woods. First of all, we talked about the offensive line being decimated by injuries last year. How tough was that? Because there was combinations left and right and moving guys around. How difficult was last season? From the offensive line point of view, uh, it was difficult. But um, like you said, uh, we had a bunch of young guys come in. 
when they had to step up maybe a little too early than expected, but they stepped up. They did pretty well. As you said, we had two running backs to come out with the 1,800 yards. So from an offensive line standpoint, I feel like we performed under the circumstances that we were under, and we just looking for this year to improve even more. You know, when I did your game last year and I was at, at your stadium watching practice, I never got the sense that everybody was down. I, I still felt that this team really cared about each other and really wanted to work hard. But is this almost a breath of fresh air, getting a new coaching staff, a new system, and people that have great reputations as coaches? Um, anytime you bring anyone new and you give anyone a clean slate, it's always a breath of fresh air. I mean, the fact that, you know, whatever you did in the past really doesn't matter. So you get to rewrite your own history once again. So I feel like that's a great opportunity for even young guys who didn't really get a chance last year. Now they get another chance this year with a new coaching staff. Aziz El Shire, one of the linebackers for the team. How about you? Because th there were some injuries last year, obviously hurt your defense, but you guys played <coughs> aggressive. I saw a lot of swarming defenses. How has the scheme changed, and is it difficult to go from one scheme to another? It can be difficult. You know, um, I feel like for a lot of the guys who might not have football smart, it could be a little bit harder, but I feel like it's more of an NFL-style defense right now. And we're learning, you know, playbook is a, lo is a lot more complicated for, you know, the players now. But I feel like it's becoming a lot better for us. You know, it's a lot more eyes on the quarterback, breaking on the ball. So maybe a lot more plays made. I feel like you just kind of got to go out there, and if you're a good player, you'll be able to show it. What did you specifically work on in spring and going into fall camp that you need to work on still? Uh, I really need to work on my whole aspect of the game. You know, just pad level for me, using my hands better. But getting off blocks, you know, I feel like any linebacker, those are things that you need to work on, my pass rush, things like that. Let's talk about the defense with, with you, Leigh, because we got your headset working again. You lost Conference USA Defensive Player of the Year, Trey Hendrickson. Nate Ozdemir went to the military. The defense at times struggled last year. What did you see with this defense from a positive standpoint? Well, in the spring, I, I you know, we watched fall a lot, whatever, but we don't really want to go back to that, um, right. you know, really the spring. I saw these guys really work really hard. Um, some guys really flash. Um, you know, some injuries on that side as well. Um, some guys coming back from injuries, so, and some new guys coming in. So uh, they just had a great attitude over there. They had a great spring game, um, really got after the offense, and I would say won, definitely won the spring game. And um, they were excited about it. You know, you could see the excitement, you know, kind of as they're walking the locker room afterwards, like it was almost a real game. So. Um, that was great to see. I think that comes from really good leadership, and we're going to build on that. When I'm breaking down the team coming into the season, I still think you're a very young team, but you're very young, but you're also athletic, especially on the backside. Fair statement? Yeah, very fair. I think um, coming in, you know, on paper is one thing, but watching spring, I was very impressed uh, specifically with our skilled guys, um, you know, uh, on both sides of the ball. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's going to be exciting to see these guys come together. We've got a lot of work to do, and... Um, and a lot of new guys to put in these spots to, to figure out. One of the things that stood out for me also was your special teams. You had an outstanding return game. Give us kind of a lowdown on the special teams from kicking, punting to returns. Yeah, we return our kicker, and um, he, he did a great job in spring. I think we'll be, you know, one of our one of our key players, and hopefully he's um, kicking a lot of extra points. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> and uh, and our return game, some really exciting returners. Um, again, going back to those skilled guys, especially on offense. To get those guys the ball in their hands is going to be exciting. White had over 1,000 yards in kickoff returns last year. That gives you a little weapon when you get that field position, does it not? Also means you're giving up a lot of scores, too. <laughs> <laughs> Typical coach. <laughs> you know, you look at it, you got to spin that a little bit. What's the one thing that people should watch this year that may be surprised, surprising about this ball club? I would probably say new players, um, whether it's junior college transfers or or. Uh, four-year college transfers or some of the high school guys. I think there's going to be some some new guys in this program that really flash. Lane, I really am excited to have you part of Conference USA, my friend. We welcome you. Glad to be here. Good to see you again. Gentlemen, thank you very much. So, we'll continue our you. coverage of the 2017 kickoff presented by Under Armour when we return after this.